Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group on receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left a name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savadi Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to wine and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. Our details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. I've got a few ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe house case. Let's talk when you have a minute. <sighs> All right. What kind of life savings you got? <laughs> ah, no wonder you're still alive, Case. Always serving up the top sirloin of bullshit. I'm gonna cut to it. We can't do shit with this house, considering our money situation. This place might have been fine for Adler, but for a team? I'm thinking overhaul. An armory. Place to train. Gear bench. Not to mention anything else we might end up needing. Turns out won't be free, though. Marshall found a few grand stashed in one of the rooms upstairs. Other than that, we're starting fresh. No touching our own bank accounts, either. Someone will be watching. When you're on a mission, look around for any cash lying around. You're gonna Robin Hood your way through this. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. That's me. We were following an old KGB trail, and a single recording led us here. It seemed abandoned. When we asked our mole inside the KGB about it, he knew nothing. Belikov thought maybe it was some kind of splinter group, not sanctioned by the Central Committee. Whatever it was, it doesn't look like a red-stepped foot in here since 1968. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to get others involved. Looks like he was working on a trust list. As far as I can tell, he didn't contact anyone. That's probably why Adler was talking to Dumas, keeping it outside of Langley. We're gonna do the same, at least for now. The board behind me is how we'll track our spending. Give it a look.
What's going on, man? Just what we found in Atlas Files. An assassin, maybe 30 years old, came from one of Avalon's crime factions, the Guild. Appears she was raised through the Guild and then exiled or left, don't know. Whatever it is, Adler was interested, so I am too. So far, we've got nothing but Adler's homework. But he could be out of his mind. Whether he is or whether he isn't, those paramilitaries in Kuwait, they were the real deal. Well-armed, coordinated, and motivated. Hell, man, I don't know. Seems hard to believe, but maybe I'm just naive. If Livingston's involved, he could have wanted to add it off the board one way or the other. Hell, are you kidding me? Nine years out and I'm still writing checks to Temple. Tell him to take a home equity loan out on this place. That's a tough motherfucker in there. Lost his legs in Panama, lost his best friend. Langley gave him a chance to help run ops, but between me and you, it's not in his blood. Man's a soldier, killer. His current situation, maybe he feels like he's on the front line again. Could explain why they haven't been back here. Maybe turn over some rocks when you have some time. Who knows what we might find in here? You got it. See you back here on Thursday.